tail. This is a dinosaur, and I got a little bit of a treat for you on that, largely because I'm in my kitchen, and uh, I'm going to graduate school, but I had to get a new laptop. So, uh, we went out, I actually did a lot of research, and I found that the Star Wars Force Awakens Special Edition laptops were actually quite a good buy for what you would get, and i um, I was asked to do an unboxing video, so call this a little bit of an advertisement, but it's something that's kind of a neat treat. First thing I want to show you is this: you can't buy the star, the special edition Star Wars laptop without the special edition sleeve. Now, why did I buy this? This thing is fifty bucks, pretty expensive, right? Well, here's the thing: how many laptops are going to become a collectible? Not many. This will. This will, in 10 years from now, 20 years from now, you have the sleeve, you have the laptop, and the packaging, because we're going to show that too, uh, and forgive the mess in the background, but if you have those things, the, as a package, it'll be worth a lot more. But for us, and I think it's really kind of a cool, you got an old stormtrooper and everything, so that's the first step. Now, here's the product itself. It comes in a kind of a box, a little basic box, no big deal, but a little box cutter, we can get that taken care of. And you want to be a little gentle on this, just want to cut the tape. Not the box itself, just the tape. A slice, and a little slice. go. Now this is the original packaging box. Oh, look at this. It went all out on this. Look at that. How many computer boxes comes with that kind of packaging? None. I don't remember anyone coming with something like this. Of course, properly HP sealed. Unfortunately, this is my laptop. We're going to have to break it. Um, but, I want to be a little careful because I want to protect this packaging best I can. a little unusual. I have to kind of cross it over the top a little bit. There we go. So now, oh, well, so now we have that a little loose. Put that aside so nobody gets hurt. tear that too much. I just want to kind of unlatch this. I'm sure there's a scientific way about getting tape off without re ripping the packaging. Well, it's too late. kind of already did. <laughs> thing we see is this. Look at that. Look at that. wonder what's in here. Probably the uh, other videos. Yeah. Look at that. Disney. I'm still a little miffed about the whole Disney thing being Star Wars. But let's see how they do on this film. Uh, oh, that's interesting. This is magnetic. I didn't know that. Oh, and there's writing. You don't know the power of the dark side. Let's see if you can see it there. 
Oh, sure enough, power cord. That's really cool. Well, actually, no, it's the battery and the power cord, it looks like. Makes sense. Plug it in here, power supply, there you go. Now, part number in there, obviously. That's a really nice box. Gotta save that, too. Oh, here's the meat and potatoes, the laptop itself. This one's gonna be a little tricky to get out, but we're gonna. Move it, here it comes. Now, of course, you have your standard packaging, HP, blah, 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 blah. Uh, oh, now this is cool. Nice wrapped up. Nice packaging, right? It's a TIE Fighter, actually. That is cool. How much packaging do you see that's cut something like this? I think that's the first company I ever see do anything like this. In fact, I think more companies are going to do something like this because of what they did. That's really cool. In fact, I got two of them. Two of them. Now I'm a little piece of foam. And here it is. Sealed in a bag. HP, obviously this is where the battery goes. Back down in here. And, uh... Yeah, that's really about all the packaging. Uh, that it is. The first thing we're going to do is now remember when I said packaging this is a little cleaner. Look at that. Look at that. That's really clean. Really clean. I think actually I actually have it upside down because uh, it actually goes down flat like this and pops up. But um, on your screen, window screen back looking like that. I like, what I really like is the finish. It's really different. Yeah, it's got Darth Vader and the Empire stuff. Uh, but I just like, they really did a good job on the finish. It's very different. Now that's great. We've opened it. Here's a couple of things, though, that I've read about and I've studied about. Why did I pick this? I picked this because this thing has the 6th generation Skylake processor uh, on that. But the next step up, that was a 17-inch screen, touch screen, 16 gigabytes of RAM, was almost $200 more. Okay? But here's the thing. It was virtually the same machine. The only difference is it had more RAM and had a bigger screen and had one more port. Now, here's the thing. This is the largest complaint about this unit is the hard drive and the fact. Well, here's the thing. The RAM is $40. And you can open this up and it has two slips. It has one DIMM in there right now for 8 gigabytes. It's got another one that's empty. You can put another one in there, you got 16 RAM right there. Second thing, the hard drive. It's a one terabyte hard drive. That sounds good, but it's also a 5400 speed. And the number one thing they recommend is to replace it with a solid state drive. And uh, most people do the 500 gigabyte. So, overall, I haven't done that yet. I just unboxed it here. Oh, and I forgot something. You also, here's real kicker on this thing you need a flash stick on that I gotta buy a 64 gigabyte flash stick the reason why is they say the first thing you do with this thing is you back it up there are no CDs there's nothing to help you 
and it's also got the Star Wars names and everything. So I'm going to be a little slow on using it probably because I want to get a few more things to back it up. But I didn't buy it at Best Buy. The reason why is I get a flash stick online, Tiger Direct, for like 15 bucks or by PMYs. It'll work. Uh, the solid state drive and all that, eh, I don't know when I'll do that. Probably sooner than later because I, if I'm going to open it up for the new RAM, I might as well open it up all at the same time with the same purpose. So those are the only two upgrades, but you do those upgrades that will cost you in total. Oh, oh, and here's the other thing. With the hard drive you take out, the one terabyte hard drive, you just got yourself a one terabyte uh, backup drive, um, which you could buy a case for about 40, 50 bucks so that you could plug it into a USB port and you can back up all your information on it, all the stuff and clean out other computers on that. So it still has use. So in total, the RAM's about 40, 50. The hard drive itself varies right now. I might wait till closer to Christmas, see if some deals goes on. But uh, that'll be around $150 to $200. And the case for the Tartar is being another $40, $50. Bucks. So you spend about $300 more, okay, then the touchscreen and all that stuff. But you got a screaming machine. You also got a very collectible item that even after five years, five, seven years of usage, if it makes it that long, the case, the packaging alone for Star Wars fans will be worth something to them. Uh, and you will get a higher level of resale value out of that. I probably won't resell it, but I'm going to save the packaging in case I ever do. Anyway, this is Dinosaur. Hope you liked it. Um, and i got to package everything back up, except for the laptop, of course. Uh, and then just go from there. Have a nice day.